This is the third video in a series on human effort and expectation, and here to introduce the topic is my friend. He's Will. He's just a regular guy. Five. M. B. Do or do not. There is no try. There's this great quote in the Bible that says, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as if working for the Lord, not for men. The part that struck me the most about this quote is, work with all your heart. Whatever your God may be, work as if you're working for that thing. As if whatever you're doing is going to matter. For me, when I say I'm going to try something, it means that I'm going to do something on a temporary basis and thus not put my full investment and full self behind it. And I think life is just far too short for that sort of attitude. If we're going to do something, we have to do it. We have to be active about it. If there's one thing I learned from my English composition classes, it's that passive voice is just not acceptable. Not only is it not acceptable, it's just boring. And to try something is so passive that it's mind-numbing. I recently watched a director rail at an actor because they were trying something on stage instead of doing something on stage. He said that we as an audience don't understand what trying looks like because it doesn't look like anything. So that's my encouragement to you guys. If you want to do something, do it. Put your full energy behind it. As I said last Friday, failure is not such a bad thing. So if you just put your full self behind something and you fail at it, that's okay. Just do something else. But You've got to do it. If you're only doing something on a trial basis, you'll never ever know if it works out because you're not putting your full investment into it. So that's what I meant last Friday when I said take risks. Just do stuff. Just throw it all out there. Put everything you've got on the table because in the end of the day, we're not guaranteed tomorrow. And if we're not guaranteed tomorrow, we might as well do it all today. So my problem is basically that we just make failure such a horrible thing to do that people aren't willing to take chances. You just don't stop, and that's a metaphor for life. You just don't stop. You can't give up on the things that you hope would happen.